Okay, so with the help of uh, some quick clamps and a little bit of cursing and a little bit of swearing and a little bit of throwing stuff, I now have the basic leg kit put together with the front plate. Everything squares up really well once that front plate goes on and the back end will square up really well once the back end plate goes on. And I will square this up completely and I will also level it to my floor. I've just got to decide exactly where it's going to sit in here and in what direction. And I'll level it up to my floor so that the top surface is level. There's uh, leveling feet on each one of the legs, so it shouldn't be an issue. This is uh, looking really good so far. It's, uh, well, it's a breeze to put together, really, so far. Let's get her done. Okay, let's have a look at the business end on this one. Got a power supply put right into the back plate, which is really nice, so you don't even have to worry about where you're gonna put anything. And it all comes pre-wired. Really nice wiring job. There's the uh, Gecko G540, the back end of it. Really nicely wired. And on this side, once again, total class. Beautifully wired. No mess, no muss, no fuss. Now, we just gotta see whether I can keep the wiring nice and neat like that. We are out in the shop again. I've got everything squared and all top surfaces are coplanar with each other. And just so happens that everything is also level completely level. Not that that really matters. Coplanar is what you want. So I installed the Y rails. Nice beefy linear guides. And everything is looking good. I marked the floor with Sharpie on every corner. So that if things ever get bumped and they are not in their perfect spot, I know things are not square. But this thing is so rigid. Yeah, I'm shaking me instead of it. There is no putting this thing out of square and it's not even built yet. I don't have any of the cross beams from the Y rails. None of those are installed yet. There's also some aluminum brackets that go in the corners and they'll hold it even more rigid again and I don't have those installed and there is no moving this out of square now. So far I like what I see. Um, one thing to note when unwrapping the Y rails be wary that the linear bearings can come right off the end. So make sure you got a good grip on those if you're turning it upside down or if you know, I, like I put it on my foot to unwrap it and the bearing slid right down to the bottom. Luckily I caught it before it came off the end of the rail. So that's just one thing to just keep in mind. Coolio, looking good.